Welcome back and thank you very much. Daily Graphic this morning says Agric will continue receiving priority attention. Finance Minister states at Farmers Day launch and always travel with relevant documents. That's what uh, the uh, some individuals are being told. We're told that we had some deportees. Students Loan Trust owed 75 million Ghana cities. Over 55,000 have defaulted since 2012. Where are their guarantors? That's the question. Banks not doing enough for road contractors. Help us solve risky unemployment situation. Alan to private sector. And Neck, unhappy about GS silence on the new textbooks for pupils. Business finder. Be among top companies. Dr. Wa tells Ghanaian owned firms. And uh, mining 1.3 billion Ghana cities bagged as tax revenue. Ecobank boosts SME operations with DG Banking Pack. The Guardian Times, the fight against Galamse, government achieves 85% success. Lance Minister, Mr. Asmatreme, uh, that's what he says. We will interrogate that. War against corruption, we are on course, according to the NPP. And Senior Minister fumes over 1.3 billion rice imports. And, uh, well, we're told also that joint uses David Ando has been assaulted by an assemblyman. Why? Uh, we don't know, but if you grab a copy of the paper, you you will certainly find out the details. Mr. Richard Ahiagba is a member of the NPP's communication team. He's also a deputy director of communications. And this morning, Comrade Mutala Mohammed is also here with us. He is uh, the, the shore banker in the Tamale Central constituency. Comrade, welcome. Good morning. Congratulations. How are you doing? Thanks. Even though you're oh, it you, 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 you like you like fights too much. What fight? I'm telling you what you ought I said to have congratulations. Done. You don't like you're on too your much. way to become mean and empty. I say you don't like treat too much. See? So so he's also a former <laughs> deputy minister of trade, by the way. And uh, big man. Welcome. What makes me big? Welcome. Thank you. Serich, how see, are I'm, you? I'm okay. He's our, he's our big friend. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he, he, <laughs> he, he escaped uh, and won the Tamale Central seat. <laughs> Was it an escape? Yes. Uh, but it's an escape we're going to stop. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, when we get to the main elections. Have so you won that seat before? Has an MPP won that seat before? I, I Political history is important. Yes, yeah, important. <laughs> but uh, the point I am making is that we will take that seat from him. Okay. And uh, when we get to 2020 <laughs> elections, you are determined. We'll do all it takes okay. to win that seat because we have seen uh, the performance in that constituency okay. to be not acceptable. The people deserve better, and okay. MPP will give it to them. Are you scared? Who? Oh. You. There is a proverb in the ban. Okay. You ought to have head before you can take a particular food called yama. <laughs> Your government is getting out. I mean, the people of this country are voting out MPP. Mm -hmm. So even if your government is going to be voted out, you have the luxury to be talking about the seats you are going to annex. Mm -hmm. That is practically impossible. And we are convinced okay. that we are not only going to win the 2020 elections by the will of Allah. We are going to win a lot of the seats. We're going to maintain the seats we won, you know, in 2016. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take a lot of the seats that you deceptively indeed won from the NDC. I mean, you came with all kinds of stories, mm. and those stories unfortunately resonated. The electorate thought their story sounded better than yours. See, you know, sometimes when someone is peddling falsehood, mm -hmm. it may take a longer time for you to be able to detect. And one that was district, one dam is falsehood. What one village, one not, a sing, not a single village, not a single village can boast one of district, a, one factory. Which factory? Free SHS. <laughs> So I can tell you that they, they won the elections out of fluke. They peddled falsehood. Some of the allegations were absolutely <coughs> preposterous. Ghanaians, unfortunately, bought into mm -hmm. that. They succeeded in hoodwinking a section of the Ghanaian electorate. I believe it has dawned on everybody mm -hmm. that this wasn't what they were promised. It has dawned on everybody that this government cannot be allowed to be in office again after 2020. Okay. And the only way they can get them out is to show them the exit. And I guess we look at the TV that goes on in this country that has been spearheaded by no lesser person. Serich, he, he says less. your your plans, uh, and I've enumerated a couple of them, so he says, oh, these ones, uh, they are lies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's failing to see yeah. the work on the ground. Which yeah. work? Yeah, okay. You see them. The children are in school, free uh, SHS. Uh, hold on. Is he... Um, <laughs> 
What a one professor of mine. I thought you were going to give me a proverb too. Oh no. Well, I, I mean, <laughs> oh he has none. Okay, that very well. You one. Very well. Very well. <laughs> it's not a question of proverbs, but it's a question of experience and uh, understanding. Mm. Uh, you see, a professor friend of mine once told us mm. that whenever you see an individual talking too much, okay, okay, uh, about a thing that he's afraid about, mm. then you know that he's truly is afraid. Mutala here is going on about how he's going to, uh, his government is going to win election and all that. But just this body, mm. Uh, mm. gurus, I don't know what gurus are, if he can tell us who the gurus are in his party, are doubtful mm. that 2020 is a foregone conclusion, mm. okay? Who's the NDC guru? should not worry about it. Who's the other side? They shouldn't even worry about contesting it, that the MPP okay. is going to win. Mm. And the question that they need to understand, mm. or he needs to understand, after everything he has said, mm -hmm. is that what is it, the vision of John Dramani Mahama, his SLC, okay. that they are bringing okay. to tell Ghanaians to redeem themselves from the failure mm. Mm, okay. of the previous eight years. They have zero. But this morning... You want to hear a message? Yes. Okay. This morning, <laughs> I can cede all my time to him. If he can tell us the vision Are you of sure? yes, Are you sure? His Excellency John Damani Mahama, can I, on can which I, can I just do that now? On okay. which on which he thinks mm. they are going to win this election? Okay. We have, okay, mm. we have. When they talk about one district, one uh, one village, one dam. Mm. When they talk about one district, one factory, uh, one factory mm. it is a policy measure mm. that you and I we can sit and analyze and see the implication okay. for this country. You understand? Mm -hmm. So that's where we that's where we're going. And okay. we invite them to give us one okay. economic transforming idea. If he, if it gives you you cede your time, that's your promise. Yes, you okay. give me one policy, not okay. to talk plenty. Just give me the name Just of one. the policy. A policy. Yeah, and then okay. we can debate that. Yeah. So his condition is the name of a policy. Well, then we can he debate has agreed it. Yeah. To cede his time yes, to, but on, on condition I'm that I'm not going to give him one, I'm going to give him plenty. Okay. Which is okay, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. We realize as a government that we needed to be self sufficient. Okay. In in terms of the food that we eat in this country because over the years we spent a lot of money mm. importing food president mama came out with the policy mm. decision that supported the agri sector for which reason mm. the production of local rice in 2014 mm. indeed increased by 60 percent mm. and the importation of foreign rice in this country reduced by 40 percent mm. he can check this from the ministry of agri mm. Two, president mama what was the policy called you say what it's was a the policy, policy of having self-sufficient okay. in terms of food <laughs> and, and that that didn't exist already I'm previously. Saying, if it existed, if it exi <laughs> no government can come without the policy. Look, uh, Johnny, let's I get past this. Oh, you can't tell us a policy. Oh, I am, Richard, oh, oh, but I, can, I, can, I told him to tell me a name of a policy, oh, so not to describe see, anything. That, what he's saying he, is what I, every government it? does. That's what are you talking it? about? Does he have okay. an uh, uh, Johnny, have you heard about does one have district, one factory in the history of this country? Does he have an appreciation? One at a time. Does he have an appreciation what policy is? Yes. No, I'm talking about policy. If you don't understand, you don't know. We can't. That word is a name of policy. You cannot give it. Your microphones are off. Your microphones are off. We can't give it. We can't hear you. What's up? 02021 That's our supply. Let's start off. Let's start off. Uh, the the children the children are going back to school. Uh, free SHS. That that will be the third cohort. They're going back to school, and the challenges with the school placement system. I've I've heard so many stories. I'm sure you have heard a couple of them as well. What the challenges are after ten years. It beats my imagination that we still have not found a solution. To what becomes an annual problem yeah. uh, what is it what do you see because the frustration is there yeah. uh, some of the children were told to sign on to the the system the system they told got jammed why says we are updating the results we are good plenty stress for freshmen yeah why oh johnny very good morning to you to uh, your viewers and to the rest of ghanaians uh, i I've been talking to some parents mm -hmm. and uh, uh, know some students uh, who are in a situation that we're describing. Mm -hmm. uh, I was listening to radio, I think, sometime yesterday and even mm -hmm. this morning. And there are people talking about the system having been uh, okay. taken offline mm -hmm. uh, for some updates by WAYEC and uh, uh, other, uh, you know, auxiliary operati operators of the system. Okay. Now, I 
I want to first of all sympathize with our, our parents and okay. students who are having to go through this. The interesting thing is that we we need to begin to be proactive. Yeah. And the people in charge, it's mm -hmm. not it's not something we must accept to be okay. Uh, if we expect our students to uh, be serious with their studies mm -hmm. and uh, be able to make good grades and be placed in schools, then we too who are facilitating that mm -hmm. process must equally be serious uh, and then be up and doing. Mm -hmm. And so I hope that uh, uh, the, the authorities will work uh, as fast as they can mm -hmm. to ensure that this <coughs> issue is brought to a close and mm -hmm. that students and parents can go through the process and be able to get ready. I think next week is yeah. when they are when they are coming on. But I want no, to... No, they're, they're starting uh, this yes. week. This week, okay, yes. actually, okay. And I think uh, I want to commend the Minister of Education, I think GAS too, on that, on that score also. I hear they have some um, uh, solution centers mm -hmm. opened where people can go and get some support uh, to be able to help them when they really don't have any options. Mm -hmm. But the point of the matter is that we need to do better. Uh, we are investing in technology at a point where others have gone through the try and error phase. Mm. We have the benefit of starting ahead right. the curve to make sure that all the mistakes and the errors that people have gone through we learn from and we are supposed to be more efficient. Mm. And so I think that the, the people engaged in that area must be up and doing mm. to justify the confidence uh, of the leadership giving them to be able to lead that mm. sector on all of our behalfs. But, but, uh, yesterday, we, we were told of a story, uh, somebody called an instrument. It says, look, um, my daughter has been asked to, to go to the north from Accra to go and school. This is a 14, 15-year-old girl, maybe he's top 17. And the school is not a boarding school. <laughs> and this young lady is supposed to be on her own. So the father says his only option is to rent uh, you know, a, an apartment for her to use. But that will be putting her in harm's way because she's too young to be able to, to run around. But that is the real problems we have. What do you think? Well, Yanni, let, let me use the opportunity to thank everybody mm -hmm. and say good morning to the chiefs and imams and people of Tamale Central. But since this is the first time I've been on this program after the elections which you failed to congratulate me but for it demanded congratulations and I think I need your people to I, I'm not, know I'm that. not, yes, I'm not your but opponent let, can I, can of this set. You are my friend. I am your, I'm your host else. and friend. You are my <laughs> so why are you, why are you punching me? He, he's seeking <laughs> refuge. <laughs> and, and, again, and again I thought that I just showed you the definition of policy. My brother needs to read around it and have an appreciation <laughs> of what constitutes a policy. But let me just leave that to your viewing public okay. uh, and say that I thank everybody for that opportunity and the confidence reposed in me. And permit me also to thank my two other contenders. Mm. It was a very decent civil, if you like, you know, contest that at the end of the day, there wasn't a victor and there wasn't a vanquished. Mm. The person, the only person who won was the NBC. Okay. And I think that based on the assurances that we have all given, I have no doubt in mind that we will, inshallah, maintain that seat. And inshallah, the NDC mm. will win the 2020 elections. It is very clear that these mm. are some of the challenges that the free SHS is bringing. Nobody in this country ever had any problem with the introduction of the free senior high school. Mm. Nobody. As a matter of fact, the NDC started something like that. And we had once again, if he wants to know, mm. if he wanted a, a social intervention program, which he describes our policy, we had free even sandals that were given, free uniform that were given. All these things have been abandoned. Mm. I have actually organized free extra classes for students okay. in Tamale Central, mm. you know, who happen to be people in the free SHS. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are not able to finish their syllabuses. And Johnny, I'm a teacher mm. by profession. I have proper appreciation of what to time and okay. within which you have to finish mm. your syllabuses and as a result of that when they get home and they reopen because of this this happens that red mm. green light you don't even appreciate what it is when they get back to school they have to continue so what it means is that if they are not able to finish a particular syllabus and then they get back they would have to continue mm. because of mm. the duration 
we would have to organize classes. Many of these kids, their parents can afford to pay for extra classes for them. Mm -hmm. In fact, in Accra, some of the extra classes, people pay as much as 500 Ghana cities mm -hmm. per subject. Mm -hmm. In the part of the north and many other places in this country, the least you pay will be 100 Ghana cities. So okay. if you have six courses, it means that you have to be paying about 600 Ghana cities per month. Multiply that by three months, you are talking about how much? 1,800 Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. That is way higher than even when the so-called free SHS wasn't there. So all these things are challenges. We have had reports, you know, by NGOs that have indicated that a lot of kids have been defiled. Mm -hmm. Some have been raped as a result of the fact that their parents, parents have to rent rooms for them in communities where even the... How, the, how is that the fault of the computer placement system? I'm talking about the free SHS where okay. you would have to send people mm. to places where they do not even have... You remember, mm. that this one is compulsory. You cannot. You have to go right. to where you are being sent. And all these are social challenges mm. that the free SHS indeed is encountering. So when we raise issues about the reckless and haphazard implementation of it, I think that this government ought to listen. Mm. Nobody on principle has any problem with that. But they are challenges that all of us we need to galvanize forces together to be able to 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 overcome so these are challenges and again on the issue of students loans right. which you have also mm -hmm. indicated i believe myself and you no wait oh no no we, we, we'll, we'll <laughs> talk about we'll talk about student loans yes. um, I, I want us to because this, the, to, the, the, no, no, i'm, we, I'm we, tying we, it i'm tying no no it. wait let's let's <laughs> let's do one at a time richard yes. Yes, I, I want to come back to you on uh, the ghana national education campaign coalition they're raising questions about the fact that the new curriculum with the teachers uh, underwent training for yeah. will be implemented you know with this academic year yeah. but there are no textbooks mm -hmm. they only have the teachers handouts or uh, what do you call the teachers pack or kit mm -hmm. and they have been asked to go and teach with it and that's dangerous where are the textbooks Johnny, um let me correct this <laughs> false impression mutala Six to create, <laughs> and I think that we've got into a point we must be serious. Mm. You understand? This mm -hmm. is not. Seriously. This is not joking. This when we talk politics, we're talking about people's lives. Okay, that is in the balance. Mm -hmm. uh, this placement I'll, I'll issue, please. this placement issue is not a free SHS issue. Mm. We should be clear about that. So if you are talking here uh, and no being patronizing to say, oh, nobody has problem with free SHS yet. You are blaming Free SHS for a placement issue that predates Free SHS. I think that's most unfortunate. Ah. Now, on the matter, you see, you see uh, he uh, on the but matter, you need to correct him. Correct correct what? What? But, that, but that's why I asked that's, you. That's why I asked you no, how. No, you need to correct yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, Free SHS. Please, please, uh, please, 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 please. No, no, you can't. You can't can stop I, me when I am talking. Please. No, you can't make the point. The point I am trying to make here is this: you have to answer the question. If you can't answer, it, just. Talk about let's, something let's, let's, let's but the progress. point I am saying is that you cannot blame free SHS for a placement issue that predates it. Point well made. Okay? Let's make progress. Where are the textbooks? <laughs> the textbook issue, you said it so rightly. When they went to the orientation, they were given parts. Right. Okay? The books are to be printed and they are being printed. In the term in the interim, okay, the implementation of the curriculum goes on with the parks and my understanding from the Ministry of Education is that the park were intentionally giving them pending the, uh, the printing of the textbooks and what is contained in those parks okay are sufficient to carry them till the textbooks are ready so I, they I, they plan for this I, I thought that we have departed from wow. the point where the teacher only the teacher holds the textbook mm -hmm. and is instructing the students yeah I thought we were now in the era yeah. where every student had a textbook you know that we had come from an era when i was in secondary school we used to share one commerce book about yeah. five of us yeah. and we used to pass it around that was the situation then mm -hmm. i thought that we had gone past that because that is what the ges had come to tell us yeah. that one student one yeah. textbook yes so where are the text well, this this explanation from ges for yeah. me doesn't wash yeah it washes because look if you're going to implement a curriculum yes and it is so central to you, yeah. to the double track, to free SHS, to education access, reach, and spread. Yeah. You shouldn't be telling us this. No. See, Johnny, if, if somebody is telling you that, saying that that is all you are going to get, then we can have this discussion. But it's telling you contingent on time. You could, I mean, the, the intention is to get them a textbook. It's not as if a textbook cannot so how, be gotten. how long do we have But a textbook, wait? you know, you, you are at the time of developing the curriculum. You are working alongside to come up with a textbook. 
okay, one ends before the other. But you cannot wait, okay, to have the textbook before you implement the program. So I'm now, thinking, what, what, listen, listen, listen. I'm thinking yeah. mm -hmm. that before you put people in a room to train them, mm -hmm. you to teach up to a point. Yes. So by that point, the textbooks will be ready. So uh, what, when, what documents are the students going to refer to? You are the one holding the document and quoting to me. Yes, yes. I don't have a counter document please, to read from. Please, please, Jody, I hear what you are saying. But the point is Am that... Am I making sense? But you, you, are, you are making sense in an ideal situation. Okay. What you are saying is that if you, Johnny, okay, you are put in the situation to manage this, how would you have done it? Okay. Given the time constraint you have and the urgency of the implementation. You understand? Mm -hmm. So let's not play these kinds of things that, oh, they didn't do it because it's their fault. We need to be uh, realistic about this. Mm -hmm. They are saying that we're implementing uh, the policy, mm -hmm. but we give you enough sufficient resources mm -hmm to the point where you would need a textbook or to the point where the textbooks will be ready. Okay. So we need to understand this and not try to play I, I, into it some I'm, emotions I'm, I'm, no, that no, are not working. No, no, nobody is playing. <laughs> I, I, mean, I, I feel sad that you think I'm playing emotions. Because, because I am, you, I'm asking the question yes, from, but you see, you, from an uncle point of view, yes. from a parent point of view. I also, I, I, I am also now, a, a parent I'm, and I'm also uh, an and I'm uncle. saying that yeah. having gone through the educational system yeah. in Ghana, yeah. we used to have one teacher with just a textbook. I agree with you. That is all known to us. 60 students. That is known to us. Yes. Then, as a country, we said that's unacceptable. Yeah. Let's reduce that. So, one textbook to about five or six students. Yeah. Then we said again, let's stop that. Yes. Let's have one textbook to one student. So you go and sign at the bursary and you pick it. When you are done with school, you return it. Then some others get it. Yes. Now we are back to having half of the textbook yeah. in the teacher's pack yeah. for the teacher alone to have. And instruct the students yeah. so we have backdated we've gone way way back and i'm saying in any situation like you're saying ideal situation yeah. even before we move to put people in a room to yeah. train them to implement a policy that's so dear to us yeah. we should have had the textbook printed don't you agree so what you are saying is that until we print the textbooks we shouldn't implement the curriculum that's what you're saying couldn't it have waited See, and that's, that's a question you're asking. But then the point of the matter is this, okay? You want to implement the curriculum right now. What's the, so you what's, have what's the rush for? I see, that's a question you're asking me. Yes. But then there's an urgency with which you want to do that because we're lagging behind. Okay. We are living in a world today that the world is far advanced, leaving us behind. You and I have been talking about how even our democracy <coughs> is about some 200 and so many years behind. Okay. So we need to catch up with the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. This is not a time to walk at a snail pace. This is what other people okay, mm -hmm. are far advanced and we need to catch up. And so what you are saying is how do we work okay, with a sense of urgency that gives us the advantage to move faster. And that's what is being done. Now, see, do, if, do, do, you, do you also... Okay, just allow me. Let me answer. Okay. You raised a point, Johnny. Mm -hmm. The fact that you said maybe at a point in time we decided we want to move away from a teacher holding textbook mm -hmm. and all of this and all of that, it does not change the fact that textbooks still today will have to be printed. Right. And if textbooks have to be printed, it takes time for them to be printed. So and do you, so you don't have uh, indefinite time on your hands. Mm -hmm. You need to implement the policy. The curriculum is ready. So you take a measure... Uh, to give the teachers resources that can carry them till the printing is done so the kids can what, carry on. What do, you say so to, let's, to, let's, what, what do you say to the fact that we have a multi-track system of education yeah. where one set are going in now without a full complement of the textbooks? Yeah. The teacher is teaching them with his manual at some point yeah. until the textbook appear. Then there's another half that will come in hopefully by the time the textbooks will be in yeah. and they will have the full complement of the textbook and yet in the end they will all sit for the same exam and why doesn't care whether one had a manual or one had a half textbook or not what do you say to that so what is your <laughs> what is your solution? Because no, I've no, told you, I'm asking you, you're asking, asking, you're, you're asking, asking you. a question that is impossible. You are talking you're asking a question as if it's impossible. You know, yes, yes. Because see, you have you run your own life, okay? There are things that you do without. Okay. There are things that you manage to get. The government is not a spiritual setup. Okay. Okay. The ministry is not a spiritual setup. <laughs> they are managing this contingent upon the human limitation and the infrastructure limitation. So I have told you, if you are asking for something divine to happen, then perhaps so. But if you need to have textbooks sent to a press okay. and be printed okay. and be brought 
And in the meantime, you need to carry on education, then you make arrangements. Now, if you are talking to me this morning to say that there was nothing given to the teachers with which to start, okay. then I will agree with you. Okay. Well, but then we, the, uh, the education uh, ministry or GES, GES they have sorry. taken the step mm. to provide resources adequate till when the textbooks will be ready. Okay. Well, you and I, if we are helping in building this country, then what we want to be calling for is that the GES and the Ministry of Education works as fast as they can to ensure that a textbook meets the deadline they have set for it, with which they have provided a pack to be able to be sufficient. Is, is there, a, dead, is there a deadline? I don't, I don't know of a deadline. You see, he didn't it, ask that question. There's no, deadline. Asking, there's no deadline. Okay, but if, you, if you are communicating to me yeah. about what you have been in, unable if, to supply, you yeah. should be able to tell me but it, that in two weeks, in yeah. three weeks, you, there's no deadline. But you see, Johnny, I, I, so, I, I just so, said this and they so can't So the GES yeah. should be able to tell us what their deadline is, or perhaps because you're in government, you yeah. should be able to tell me Fair what enough. the deadline is. Fair enough. Now you, that you're saying yeah. we don't have a spiritual uh, situation, yes. that government, is don't, not spiritual. government is not but a is spiritual it, setup, but because and, and, you should. and they have the adequate in the interim, you Johnny, should be able to tell me Johnny, what you think. You see, I, 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 I am I'm interested in answering your questions, but you must ask a question from a standpoint that when the same question is asked to you, you can answer. But when you're asking me questions that you understand... Gen generalists don't answer questions. No, but then... Oh, okay, fair enough. The point I am making to you is that there's a situation where you have to print textbooks. Okay. And pending the printing and supply of the textbooks, you have made an arrangement. Okay. Okay? to give the teachers some materials to be teaching the kids. Mm. In your own life, have you not been in a situation where you have to make temporal arrangements, mm. which was okay? okay? Have we not been in this country and be able to make that arrangement mm. and it worked for us? What I am telling you is that these are practical issues that we have okay. to deal with. So when you're asking questions around this, you ask practical questions. But when you're asking questions that says that, the, oh, the, why didn't they the, do the, this? The, but the then time, you have the, time. The timeline has not come. You have not told me. Well, you can call GES okay. and talk to them about that. Thank you. Yes. I'm most grateful for your yeah. time, Richard. Yeah. So, uh, Mutala, you are a teacher by training. What, what happens? This is the situation we have. Uh, Richard has explained that we have made provision in the interim to hold them on because we can't wait. We need to go on with it, with the process and get the students to be a part with the new curriculum. What do you say? John, I did indicate that my friend needs to read around what constitutes the policy. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying this with all seriousness <laughs> because for you to implement... You, you are not suggesting he doesn't. No, I'm, no, I'm just suggesting to him that he, sh he needs to. Because with all seriousness, for a policy <laughs> to be implemented, you ought to have had conclusively mm -hmm. what the policy intends to achieve, even foresee mm -hmm. challenges that you may encounter as a result of the policy that you intend to impl mm -hmm. implement. At the beginning of, at the time of formulating that policy, all those factors ought to mm -hmm. be taken into consideration. Johnny, mm -hmm. have you ever seen the policy document for the free SHS? We have been demanding mm -hmm. for years now. Not the Ghana Education Service, not the Ministry of Education has been able to provide us mm -hmm. with one. Yet, when we demand questions and journalists ask legitimate questions, mm. questions that the viewing public otherwise would have asked, mm. but because they may not have the opportunity to sit here. You know what he told us? Mm. That government is not a spiritual entity. That is insulting. People are demanding to know what you intend to do. And they are toiling with the future and lives of the people and kids of this country. Mm. Now you have a policy such as free teachers. You want to implement it. You have resumed school. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the very materials that the students are supposed to learn with, those materials are not there. And he said that they have given them the, the, the part. Are they not enough? Is that not enough? Not all. You go to school. I can give a classical example. Look, okay. Johnny, as here, someone just even sent me a message. A teacher in his school, they have about 18 teachers. Only five packs have been given. So what happened to the other 13 teachers? What are they going to do? Every teacher did that not get not their Every teacher... Oh, that please, please. not they, they, finish? They training, Richard, that hold on. Richard, Richard, hold on. Richard. The training that please, was held... Yes, Richard. everybody please, wants to... Oh, oh, no, I, I need to I, get clarity But let me you. just advise him. When he was You speaking, cannot advise I am. please. You, you ought to ahead, behave very well. You started this okay. thing. So, so please, when it's I, okay. when gentlemen, I it's okay. you told me, so just go it's on, okay. go on, so just go on. Quiet. Just go on. Mutala, go on. But you cannot be lying. The, the training we saw, Who is lying? Mutala, Mutala, the training we saw, <laughs> saw every teacher Johnny, with a pack. I have yes. decided, at, at least. Been, Johnny, I have been resisting the temptation to use the kind of words he uses. No, no. Because I think that we are growing. Let's all go Listen, you have used words. So that is. So there. don't tell me. I mean, you can't be lying. No, no, no. Richard, Johnny. allow me to do my Johnny. work. I just I, told you. I'm Johnny. submitting to you that Johnny. at least 
The photos I we saw told you that some, had teachers seated around the table Johnny, and every one of them had a Johnny, parking I front. just told you that this is what someone sent to me now. Okay. Just now. I am not I am not teaching in the classroom. So how could that... So, so this is from e where? Exactly. This What's is a the teacher. Source? This, I'm, that's why I said someone just sent it to me. He didn't say that. Oh, hold on. He just said hold teachers on. have five. Hold that's on. just I'm uh, Johnny, what did he write there? Yes. It, that only five teachers okay. have the packs. That is what I just where, said. Where is this? You see, that is... Um, Johnny, that is... Um, there are 21. There are even 21 Where teachers. is this? Where is I'm it? just saying that here, someone just sent me... A text. Who no, 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 don't, don't put a name to Johnny, it. But where Johnny, is it? Johnny, so that at least the Johnny, GS can Johnny, identify the problem. I, I, I strongly believe it. that the person is watching. Uh, okay. Because you realize I don't even have the name. Right. I strongly believe the person, the person is watching. watching. Okay. And I urge the person to tell us the name of that school. Okay. Now, when people raise questions, don't try to rubbish but, it. But no, see, please, please, Richard, please. Richard, allow, allow. Please note your concerns. Yes, go ahead, go ahead. Go Why ahead. are you not intolerant? Oh, you are the most intolerant A lot person. of the things you oh. said here. Okay, allow, see, allow, 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 you lied. Mutala, let's make progress. You Richard, need to please. grow up. Richard, Seriously, you please. need to grow up. Because Richard, as you grow, you need to please. teach. But you see, I restrained that, 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 him from okay. interjecting. Exactly. Okay. So, so he please. needs to. Be restrained. Just go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. But don't lie. That's so, all. So let's let's talk about let's talk Seriously. about yes, let's talk because about because you lied right there. I can do this well than you do. Yeah, do it. But you don't lie. So shall we end the program? I don't know. How can we end the program? That's what I'm saying. End the program. Uh, it's up to him, but he must not because, lie. Because I have asked you a question. You have answered the question. But I am asking him the same question. Fair enough. Let him go and on. You are not allowing him to speak. I'm not restraining you. I'm just saying no, don't lie. Keep, That's all. You keep saying things that will make him <laughs> say otherwise. Okay, okay let him make him let, my program. Let, let him go on. Let him go on. Yeah, you we are fine. Johnny, first and foremost, like, you. like I said, it explains how reckless and happens that this policy was implemented. And I am shocked to the marrow okay. that a government spokesperson on a national television would tell us that yes, they have to go ahead as they proceed, proceed with the very materials that the students need to. In any What's case, wrong with that? It's dangerous. In any case, why? We didn't have this problem. In any case, they never complained that they didn't have teaching and learning materials, mm. that they would, they would teach students. Now, assuming that a teacher is able to finish with distance, he's not even able to tell us the deadline. He's not even able to tell us when we are going to have the full complement of this particular That's material. GS's job I'm to do. But he speaks on, on authority. He defends things that he doesn't know. Is that what he's telling us? He's here as a spokesperson for this incompetent government. Now he's telling us what they intend to do. And he's not able to tell us when they are going to end this. The viewing public ought to know. Whatever I say that government intend to do about this policy, they may not be able to take it serious than what comes from the mouthpiece of government. He is a communicator of this government. He is unable to tell us when they are going to have this. And he is telling you that when you even act, they're going to act years. Yet he spoke in defense of that dangerous, you know, development. Yet he, ca he cannot explain to the people. Of, and I'm saying, I'm Johnny, looking at that the, the, the betterment, the betterment, the betterment, the betterment, the, the betterment of the kids. That is the danger. That so, is the point. So Richard, Richard, for example, says, look, we, we, have, we, we have lost time. We need to make up for the time and be at par with our key competitors. What kind of planning went? What kind of planning went into it? It isn't that President Nanado just woke up and decided I'm going to do implement this policy. He started talking about this policy in 2008, mm -hmm. mind you. Now, for you to implement it, even if granted that 2008 you were sleeping on the issue, this is a policy that you have implemented for the past three years. Mm -hmm. Now you are telling us. That you do not even know when you are going to have distance. Yes, students had, and I have just given you a classical example. Once again, maybe he would doubt this. Mm. I have organized free classes for kids who are attending these schools mm. because when they go to school, they are unable to finish with the syllabuses. Okay. So when they come home, they don't have money to be able to pay for extra classes so that they can catch up with their colleagues mm. who perhaps have the resources. In this country, I have listened to parents who called onto radio stations and complained that they are spending more money in paying for extra classes for their kids because their kids are unable to finish with their syllabuses in school. How, and as a how does that solve the absence of textbooks question that I asked you? It means that there wasn't any vision, there wasn't any plan. How much will it cost the state? What kind of planning did the state need to have indeed put in place to ensure that all these materials are available before they go in there? Tell me, is there like an appointee? I don't know whether he's on salary or not. 
At the end of the month, if he doesn't get his salary, how does he go to work? Now, it is the same thing applies to a teacher. Mm -hmm. A good teacher, a well-trained teacher, will not be able to teach without the necessary materials that he will need. Now, in most of these public schools, mm -hmm. you can find about 40 or more than 40 students in one class. I mean, it's going to be hugely impossible. At the end of the day, it's just garbage in, garbage out. People are asking legitimate questions. Temporary measure. We need to, uh, like Richard says, look, we have found ourselves in a situation. What? We can shouldn't we, have can found, we cope we with ourselves? Listen, Johnny, we shouldn't have found ourselves in that situation in the first can place. We have an, can, could, could we have an, have an altogether ideal situation? You no, see, you see why you that. spoke about that? Mm. He said that this is an ideal situation. We don't talk about ideals when we're talking about the future of our kids. Okay. And that is extremely dangerous to give that proposition. Mm. That we are talking about the future of our kids, the future of this country, the human resource base of this country. And a government spokesperson tells you that, oh, that is an ideal situation. My brother, that is not an ideal situation. And we don't talk about ideal situations in matters what? that border on the survival of this state. If you were in government, what would you have done? We wouldn't have even reached there. And that is why I've asked you that why is it that we never had this problem we have it now when we are being told that enough resources are being spent on the implementation of this policy is it that someone reneged on his responsibilities oh, okay is it that the monies were not available for such a thing to be implemented these are legitimate questions when you ask he tells you that government is not a spiritual entity Thank stop you. insulting the Thank people of this country and answer Rich, those legitimate Sir, questions yes quickly let's yes. wrap up on this so that Johnny, we can we can Johnny, my brother switch. is off base you understand? We have gotten to a place in this country, okay? We have gotten to a place in this country where we have to be serious. We are 62 years old, okay? Out of that 62 years, 27 years was allocated to the NDC to rule this country. That is not true. That's a please, lie. Please, please, please. That please. is a lie. Please. The NDC has never ruled for 27 okay. years. If you, That's if, a if, lie. If you want me to break it down for break you, it down. your That's tradition. Okay? Then he goes. Your tradition. Well, you the see, I don't know. You see, I don't know. That's a lie. Oh, oh, then this is oh, not the NDC. So, well, so, it, it, take it's it the bigger than what the NLC NPP. Oh, please. What logic is this? Okay, see, so see. Allah, the NLC Allah, please, NPP. Allah, okay. If we start from 1990, don't forget about it. If we start from 1990, I'm talking about PNDC, NDC. I'm talking your tradition. Where you come from? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Please, please. You can talk about it because when you refer you to what you talk about the NDP, okay. Please. You are not making sense. I Hello. think our welcome is is, is done. Johnny. If if we're not going to do, we're talking well, about our well, children's education. Exactly. So and allow him to both continue. Both of you are doing equalization. I am not doing equalization. I am making a statement in the PNDC. I don't know. Are you going to allow me to make the point? But why did you go? But he's the one talking. NDC do not for this. I said, gentlemen. Johnny, I am doing an analysis for you to say that their tradition have ruled this country for twenty-seven years. Okay. Okay. That's Are a fact. Him? That's a fact. So, 1992. Now, hold on. 1992, yeah. when we got the Fourth Republic, NDC was in power. It was in power for eight years. President Kufo, your tradition was in power from 2001 to 2000. That's not necessary. Jenny. No, it is necessary. We, we, Set we, the we, political we, record straight. Yes. Hold on. Lie. This is a platform of information. Then, from 2009. On to 2016, it was the NDC again. You are in power. If you do that tabulation, it doesn't add up to over 20 years. I said that so, in the history of this country, mm, we are 62 years. Right. So you see the context in which I'm speaking. Okay. Let's not do this. Okay. okay. In the history of this country, we are 62 years. Mm. 27 years of our life have been dedicated to the NDC to rule this country. And, and how many years? Okay. How many years for your time? 11. 11 okay. years only. Which, which okay. Oh, please. please 11 please. years only. Or if you add, if you add uh, Buzia's time you add plus Buzia. that, yes, then okay. probably about 12, 12, then 12 and a half years. One. So the point I am making, please, He please. doesn't appreciate the political history of Ghana. I'll oh. give you a book to read. Okay, thank you. Really. So, so the point I am making children. is mm. this. The point I am making is this. That if we are here today, the ones who are accountable for that, the ones who are giving the most, but have given us the least or nothing, is him and his tradition. That's why they and voted the reason them out. I am, that's why they voted them don't, out. Johnny, don't even go, don't the go there. Don't go rule. there. Don't go there. Don't why go should, there why about. Go that's there. why they. But we need to appreciate history. So the, he, they, they voted him out. But he's here talking as though he wasn't voted out for bad behavior. Mm -hmm. ah. That you need to correct that because when you tell me <laughs> he was voted out, that's why I'm in. Then he is the same person pontificating as though that he is an angel of good policy. Okay. So they need to uh, put that in the equation. Mm. You understand? Unless you are trying to say that uh, the discussion here 
really should not take into account the history of this country. Mm -hmm. Look, what I am saying, he's talking about policy and implementation, the limitation of implementing any policy. Mm -hmm. uh, we were here when they created an authority uh, to raise guinea fowls and the rest but of that it. Is not uh, no, please, I am Richard. trying to let you understand the logic he's bringing Richard, into this Richard, discussion. See, if you're talking history, no. Richard, if you're talking history, yeah. I asked you a simple question of history. Yeah. That as a country, yeah. we had an era where one teacher had a textbook to about 40 students. That's history. Then we reduced it to one uh, student. textbook one student. to five students. Then we reduced it to one textbook to one student. Johnny. Now, if you're using that Johnny, historical you, you have said, yes. well, let me, uh, let me You've said that history. already. So you've talked that already. See, so talk about history in context. Yes. It's not, but you see, we will move on to another no, topic. No, but we're talking about history in context. Okay. okay. The point I am making to you by bringing in this guinea fowl situation <laughs> is the person who is talking. Okay. And to let you understand, in when he was asking, he, he said he doesn't have the moral right. At all. Me. At all. Why? When in a situation where you know giddy fast can fly and you have not prepared for it, <laughs> we are telling you the reality of life to say that, Johnny. The fact that we want every child to have a textbook does not equate or more or less take away from consideration okay. the fact that those same textbooks has to be printed. Right. They have to be printed. Your, and point, your point is well made. Yes. So the limitation you, of that is what they have compensated for. No, you don't have any time. No, no, it's okay. You don't have any time. The, the, the policy, no, government. The policy, the, policy, no, the policy implementers have adjusted for that temporary time loss okay. when the textbooks practically has to be printed okay. by ah. giving them packs to do. Okay. And that's it. I don't see the situation where okay. you are trying to make that a free I don't really know what okay. he was talking Thank about you. to Thank make you. this thing about free and the rest of it. Thank you. John. So BNFT this serious. morning John. says uh, help us solve risky unemployment situation. The school is available. So okay. We will ask Baida to check uh, on it for us um, and then confirm. The person just sent. We can't you independently, you play, you play we can't independently verify yeah. this text. So no, we will no, ask you that. You need to know so that they can Yes, yeah, so now you have told us. So, so we went so independently verify. I'll also show you a text that says every teacher got let's see. F a let, let's see. I'll show it to you. So show it to me now. So, 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 so that is what I'm saying. Yes. We will have to because independently verify. I also have a verify. text that says everybody got it. Johnny, let's see that one. You've seen that. Okay, so now the high level... The high level of unemployment in the country uh, constitutes a major security threat. Trade and Industry Minister Alan Chamantin has warned, noting that it's not only the private sector that uh, can substantially deal with the problem uh, annually. And, uh, well, he says that um, it is only, sorry, he says it is only the private sector that can help to do it. And annually about 300,000 people graduate from the various tertiary institutions in the country, but only a, a measly 10% uh, of them find employment. So, they, the minister is calling for private sector to, to help. But private sector also says, look, things have become so tough for us. Um, you are not opening up the economy for us to be able to, to get in there and, and invest and, and get things done. And so this call is more like a chicken and egg situation. You have a role to play to empower us to be able to help you to employ the unemployed. Did the minister speak right? Well, once again, that is the cleverest demonstration of how visionless this government is. Mm. Absolutely visionless. The very ministry that my good friend, the Honorable Minister, is the minister now, had policies that were geared towards indeed helping the private sector to grow. Mm. Now, when he was demanding policies, that's why I was saying that we need to have an appreciation. The NDC realized that we were spending so much money in importing rice into mm. this country. We were spending so much money importing pharmaceutical products in this country. Mm. And for which reason? that the dollar or okay. foreign currency against our CD mm -hmm. was always higher because it was over, overstretching okay. the domestic currencies that we had. So what President Muhammad did was that he gave direct assistance financially, you know, through a def to pharmaceutical companies. Mm -hmm. Because we realized at the time that the pharmaceutical companies, the drugs that they were producing, mm -hmm. were certified by the WHO. So what it means is that internationally, the drugs that were produced by these Ghanaian pharmaceutical companies mm. could be used anywhere in the world. The only challenge they had was the capacity to produce enough mm. to be able to feed the domestic market and feed the West African sub-region, mm. let alone exporting it beyond mm. the continent of Africa. So we gave them direct financial assistance. But, but Over MPP, five the MPP also has uh, facilities. They haven't. They reduce taxes they, they, for them. Oh, please, I'm coming. We'll come to even that, that particular deception. I'm just telling you, direct policy It was announced in Parliament. Oh, please. 
policies. I'm just telling you direct policy intervention okay. in which this money is. And as a matter of fact, they had actually increased. And I'm giving you evidences. And that is why I told you in 2014, there was, a, there was an increase in the production of local rice in this country by 60% and a reduction in the importation of foreign rice by 40%. That's a direct correlation. It's not about talk talk. Mm. It's about talk talk that has yielded some positive results. I asked my honorable minister for mm. trade, what has happened to that particular policy intervention in which these institutions were given some financial assistance? We had a program with Kizan is a Japanese, you know, company who through the Japanese embassy mm -hmm. that was building the capacity of our local entrepreneurs. And that capacity so that they could add some value okay. to the goods that produce in this country. The ministry has actually abandoned it. Mm -hmm. What the minister engages in is nothing but talking. The only project that otherwise would have indeed provided some impetus in the good work and vision that we left behind mm -hmm. for the ministry would have been the 1D1F if they so intended to implement it appropriately. They have taken it to the Flagstaff House. Go to the ministry and tell me what direct intervention. Remember the, the, the made in Ghana goods, you remember? Mm. When we even had an implementation of the World Trade Organization's rule, mm. I mean, a rule that a convention that we are signatory to, you had a cousin to the president in the person of okay. Loya Kufu. Mm. I remember when we banned those parity textiles okay. on Joy FM, he said it was draconian. Even though, as a lawyer, he knew mm. that we were doing what was supported and sanctioned by the, w, the, the, the WTO rules, which Ghana was a signatory, one of the foremost signatories, mm. and it became part and parcel of our laws as a people of this country. But it was viewed in the eyes of politics. Mm. Go to the textiles companies that we have in this country. So when you have all these things, how can you create the needed jobs? I can give you a classical example. The Ghanaian textiles companies, as late recent as 1989, mm. were recruiting over 20,000 people. You go to those, those, those companies now, they have less than 3,000 employees. Now, the agri sector is a disaster. The minister, the senior minister, is worried mm. that the importation of rice in this country is over a billion. 1.3 billion. When NBC took over from this incompetent MPP government in mm. 2008, mm. we were spending about $500 million. They're, they're asking the, for private sector please, to I'm come coming. on board. We were spending so about... we don't have a lot I'll of time. We are spending, we spending about $500 million. And by the way, these are not talking. You can check the facts. Mm. $500 million in the importation. What, what should, should the private sector hit the Please. Should the and private sector hit the call? No, you have your under time. The NDC, Should the private succeeded. sector hit the call? Under the NDC, we succeeded in reducing. How come that we have now reached the threshold Should the private sector hit dollars? the call of the, the minister The enabling for... environment ought to be created. Okay. And that enabling environment creation you know, lies absolutely on the heads of the government. But if you have a government that care less about this, except thievery, how can the private sector take advantage of okay. it? What is the rate of the dollar today? Six hundred thousand, or maybe six hundred fifty thousand at best, is the number that the public sector can uh, absorb. Now, there's a quote here. It says, "We accept from the minister. We accept it in humility." Am I, am I talking about? The yes, same yes, thing? yes. The same thing. There's a quote here. It says, "We accept it in humility when the private sector is bashing us about what we need to do to support them." But in the same vein, I think that it is time the private sector supported the associations they themselves have formed to become big employers. So the private sector has been complaining. Uh, now the government is calling on them. Is it a good call? And what have we put in place to ensure that they are also cushioned to support government to reduce unemployment? See, Johnny, the, the, there's, a, there's, okay. a, there's, a, there's a difficulty the that I have, okay? In, in engaging with uh, the NDC, especially Mutala, when, when one becomes too free with words and is just talking, it is difficult to see the fact of the matter. We are talking about rice what production in this country. Money? Okay? We're talking about rice production in this country. Do you know who in the history of this country, when today we would have been production, uh, we have been at the production level where we probably would not need any importation of mm. rice in this country? Do you know who? in this country affected us in that way that today we, we have to be depending Ooh. on rice Ooh. importation Ooh. is the NDC. How? For which Mr. Kwame Pepra uh, and the rest will have to you go. Want us to go there. Please would have to go to you jail. Allow the machines you know, to they work are doing that. Oh, Mutala, please. Please. Allah, 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 please. 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 You allow the machines to run. Please, Mutala. You allow you those machines to run. So we are talking you about facts. You have the moral, please. the, the please. capacity to talk please. about please. it. Please. Please. How more reckless could the government be? You understand. Mutala. You understand. We have a situation where there was a viable project. 
in this country, where rice production in this country would have been self-sufficient, the NDC, okay, corrupted the system, wasted the money, the investment that was supposed to come. Mm. Now today you are talking about How rice production. Mean? Now you are talking to me about former uh, President John Damani Mahama instituted some measure to yeah, increase the policy. In, in, increase in, no no rice production, okay. rice importation reduced by what forty percent he was talking about. What is the effect? You don't even understand the, the issues we are please, discussing. Listen, listen. How do if, you represent if, government if, sir, communicators? Allah Allah please. please if you have increased mm. or decreased rice importation into this country by 40 percent it will rattle through the economy it did one it okay did. we're going to look at the fact one where is the currency stability that emanates from that to 2014 okay 2014 look at the the the, 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 <laughs> the, the okay. depreciation oh, me... please please look at the depreciation of the cd <laughs> how does that translate when Ooh. we're all in this country how did that translate in terms of inflation? The, the private sector is asking, no, no. Is asking about Let me support. Do, so, no, no, hold on. We, we, we don't have time. I, I've but, allowed but you. you allowed him to no, say but, things but that would not answer the question. I also have allowed you oh some two, three minutes to say, but talk I about, you see, talk about what going there and the rest. So, Richard, answer my question. Look, we, we, are trying, no, we are trying to explain where our economy has been and where it's going the, and what the minister, else is needed. The minister says humbly he accepts the fact that when private sector is bashing them, mm -hmm. they accept it. But in the same vein, they also expect uh, the private Jenny, sector. You are answer how can you be collapsing banks? How can keep, you be collapsing keep, banks? Keep this. Jenny, I want to have a question for you. Jobs. But you see, the difficulty I have is that when people come on your platform and they are saying untruths, you don't saying, correct them. Untruth. Okay, so that if I have the responsibility to correct it before I can move on, and that becomes a moment yeah, where you I'm are, using certain time. Yeah, I think that you are running ahead of yourself. No, I'm not. Please, you I are running the ahead of yourself. The point is that the, the statistics not, you gave not is not true. Not everything. Not everything. So not everything it's not true. You, not which everything you true? say yeah. is is. The Factual? Sac it's sacrosanct. No, no. I'm, we're talking about facts. Not Which everything you no, say No, no. We're talking sacrosanct. about fact. Answer my question, my brother. We're talking about facts. I'm, fact. I'm saying, says, what truth? kind of support yeah. are we giving the private sector, given the fact that government is only able to absorb 600,000? The private sector says, you are not helping us enough to be able to support you in employing the unemployed. What is your response? We, we, have, we have a general situation where we have to build an economy to where employment opportunities will be created the world over huh? mm. the model is not government employment the model is private sector <coughs> employment so that, you understand? so that when you have you have a government that is introducing policies that will uh, yield to that uh, you know that advantage then you pursue that policy look i am paid sometimes foreign exchange uh, the forex the city before the dollar seed, uh, the, the TV that you I'm, I'm, I'm not talking, talking about we're talking about job creations. I know what we're talking one about. Exactly. But I'm saying so I'm not sure where Forex comes in. But the point I am making you're is not that sure where Forex comes in. Just a let, 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 Johnny, allow me to make the point to you. And I know, please, 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 please. We are trying to build an economy based on industrialization, production. Now I'm saying that we have a policy, and it pains me that in this country. We and you, especially the media, okay. you're allowing an agenda to be set that takes us away from discussing the essential, re uh, the essential policies that can help us create jobs. We have, okay, today, one on district, one factory, okay, policy, which if you sit that policy down and look through and what has been achieved through so where? far, but, but, the policy, but, but Richard, okay, but Richard, you also know that one district, one factory, you would need to go to a bank for a facility. If the, the, the interest rates on the loans that you go and take is neck breaking, the CD to dollar ratio, CD to pound, CD to euro is neck breaking. Johnny, how do you how do you expect me Johnny. to function optimally within Johnny. that space? Tell me. Yes, Johnny, you know today. So, you and I. so that's that's Johnny. how forex comes in. No, 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 no. See, you and I know in this country interest rate. Interest rate in this country is mm. not the same thing it was in okay. 2016. How, how interest rate is gone down to about 27 percent. Oh, okay. your, uh, and, 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 oh yes, 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 please, please, please. No, Mutala, just stop this. You understand? Interest rate has gone down. True or false? Okay. You tell me, Johnny. Has it gone down or not? Ah. Has interest rate gone down since this government came into government? Has it gone down? Well, I, don't, I don't answer that question. You understand? Anymore. You see, so this thing, what's, when you do this, dollar, is not fair. No, but so please, I didn't answer any but I'm asking questions. you a question that you uh, should ask know. Me. No. Ask me. Because you're a media me. person. Ask the me. point ask of the matter no, is that ask me, I'll in the question you raised, oh, the question you raised to do with bank loan and facilities to be able to invest in the one district one factory. Today, I'm telling you, if you don't know, you can Google it or let somebody tell you that factually, 
interest rate have gone down okay in this country since this government took power okay. because we need to create that environment for investment okay. so i'm saying that you and i have a responsibility to make sure we move this country forward so when we are talking about how we deal with mm. this uh, problem it is through policy so you the media houses mm. need to be able to set the agenda in that direction because okay. of course at the end of the day your viewers when, are the beneficiaries when, when so if when you have one district one have, factory when you have a GDP, which is going to help us create job mm. and you allow for the ndc to set an agenda taking us off the discussion Who, of that substantial the policy, your then it engaging. becomes a problem Richard, that all of thank us you, Thank share. you for spiting the media. But let, 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 let me ask you, let me ask you, let you, and you must deliver so, for us, so that's all. The responsibility is that the figures, the figures on paper are good. Is our economy pocket friendly? No. What's the rate this is the, a question from the, the media to the, to the government. Yeah. Is our economy pocket friendly? If you the ask, figures look good. If you ask me, I'll say yes. It's good. Yes. Thank you. Richard Ahiagba is a deputy the national communications the director of the government. You need to stop. You need to stop. The Honorable Motala Mohammed is a former deputy trade minister and also the MP hopeful for a candidate actually for the NDC for Tamale Central. Thank you very much. Mutala, like, grateful for your time. Well, you can't well, be playing we can't with people. Verify, we couldn't Which verify line? independently the text messages that you saw. That's Mutala, that's that many me. And, and right? you know, but you know, we'll Johnny, get our people to you know, Johnny, it. even that uh, curriculum, it has nothing to do with free SHS. Because mm. yeah. that is basic yeah. level. Right. Okay, we'll see you after the break.